Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the Too Hype channel. Today, Too Hype goes back to school. So we're gonna have a bunch of different classes. The guys are gonna answer some questions. We're gonna see who can get the highest GPA. Now, you're thinking, why is it middle school and not high school? It's because these guys can't handle high school. All right, students, come on in. All right, class, let's get started. Sit down, Cassius. All right, boys, my name is Mr. Ramps. Zach. Okay. All right, boys, first subject, open up your notebooks. I need you to write history at the top of the page and write your name on the top right side. Yes, Tyler. I don't get graph paper for Doesn't matter, write history and write your name at the top right, please. Do you want to uh, capitalize? Doesn't matter, it's up to you. Do you want to underline text? Come on, guys, come on. Just, just, just write history. Do we need to tear out the sheet? You don't need to tear out the sheet, just write history and your name, okay? Oh, and our name. Top left or top right? Top right. right. Your name at the top right. Bro, why does she have the hose? I also don't have a sock. Cassius, we don't ridicule other students. Please. Yeah, my mom. All right. First question. In 1879, who invented the light bulb? It's question number one. Just write a number one and write your answer. Guys, we're gonna be doing a bunch of different subjects. Like I said, make sure you guys play along at home. Let us know what your GPA is at the end down in the comments. Okay, question number two. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first two men in the entire world to do what? Then they went to the moon? Not out loud, Cassius. Just write the answer down. <laughs> <sighs> it's going to be a long year. Yeah. Tyler. Tyler do you have headphones in? No. Really? What? Give them here. Give them here. Better watch yourself. Thank you. All right, question number three. Julius Caesar was the emperor of what empire? empire. Julius Caesar was the emperor of what empire? <laughs> question number four. The name of the American president who was assassinated in 1963. Yes, Tyler. One more time. No. Who was his assassinator? No, what was his name? What was the president's name? All right. What country did the United States buy the territory from in the Louisiana Purchase? What country? Cassius, if you get this wrong. <laughs> Question number six. Italy, Japan, and Germany's alliance was called what during World War II? These are third grade questions. Italy, Japan, and Germany's alliance during World War II. What was it called? What was the alliance called? Between Italy, Japan, and Germany during World War II. What the fuck you bro? Yo, hey, 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 boys. Yo, yo. Hey, 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 boys, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Do I need to separate you two? Nah, bro, tell me shut the bro, fuck up. I'm shit, like, I can't Listen, do the teacher. Okay, calm right. down. We're good. Like, Have a bro, seat. A Christopher, Christopher, Christopher sit down. Come on, boys. Golly. Okay. Hey! Hey, we're not bullying Jesse, guys. Come on. Cassius, take a seat, please. Let's respect each other. Yo, Cassius, stop standing up. What are you doing? Are you good? You need to calm down? All right, come on, take a seat. 
Question number seven. There are three branches of the United States government. The legislative, the judicial, and what is the third? This is question seven. Yes. You got this, Sean? Cash, I've given you... Do you need another one? Yeah, I need another one. Stop, Stop writing so hard. <laughs> number eight. What are the first ten commandments of the Constitution called? I love... No. Wait, all ten? The first ten, what is it called? The first ten commandments. Are you taking a phone call during class, James? Oh, there's a spam call. What's the What are the first ten amendments to the Constitution called? What are the first ten amendments to the Constitution called? The U.S. Constitution. This is state testing, guys. This is not my fault. Just answer the questions, please. Question number nine. The ancient Egyptian writing system was called what? What? The ancient Egyptian writing system was called what? That is question number nine. Hey, boys, what are we doing? Nothing. Nothing. Tyler, open your mouth. <laughs> open your mouth. Open your mouth. Uh, Stick your tongue out. Uh, Stick your tongue out. No, all the way. All the way. This is weird. Open your mouth and stick. You think that's weird? You think that's weird? You think that's weird? Are you eating in my class? He's eating in my class. That's sexual harassment, huh? That's what you think sexual harassment is? Like his tongue, he wanted to lick you? That's weird. Did I say that? Did I say that? Okay. All right, boys. All right, boys. Okay. I see how the semester is going to go. That's fine. No, that's fine. Question number 10. The Battle of Gettysburg was fought in which war? Gettysburg. The Battle of Gettysburg. Which war was that? Chris, quiet. Question. Jesse. This is the first day I'm already getting raised. Like, you're setting me up for failure. Your opinion will be taken into account, but it has no value. Okay. Close the books. Make sure your name is on the front and hand them. Up here, please. Wait, there was only nine questions. Let me collect them. There was ten. You just cannot follow directions. Can you? Thank you, Cassius. All right, boys, I'm going to grade these. Abraham Lincoln, cash of five. Food stamps? What is six? The Great Wall. Wow. Congress? Thou shalt not cheat. Nine. Getberg. Cash. <laughs> the Battle of Gettysburg was fought in what war and you put Getburg? Yeah, I am the time to finish it. Cash, you didn't even have your name on the paper. <laughs> Julius Caesar was the emperor of what empire? Mitchell, you wrote salad. <laughs> That's why I didn't see Five. Oh. Oh, that was correct. That was correct. My mistake. Uh, oh wow. I don't know how you knew that. The ancient Egyptian writing system was called what? Mitchell, you put cars. <laughs> well, what's, what's the next answer? The next answer is two. The Battle <laughs> of Gettysburg was fought in which war? You put two. <laughs> cars two is <laughs> Boys, boys, boys. This should be a treat, okay? Okay. Uh, Christopher, a little confused here. The question was, Julius Caesar was the empire of what empire? You put New York Mets no, no, no. and then you I crossed it out. I crossed it out. Like, okay, why would you think it was the New York Mets? You said empire, so I thought baseball. And then I was like, wait a second, this is history. They, they play in the Empire State. Yeah. They, that is true. Yeah, it was New York. Okay, I, I, I simple mistake. Like, 1963, which president was assassinated? You put Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was long gone in 1963, Christopher. Yeah, teacher, is he actually an empire hunter or is that fake? fake? That is fake news. Access powers, uh, we'll take that. Seven, okay, okay, not bad. Cassius. It wasn't me, bro! Mitchell, was that you? I did get, I did get, get quiet. Okay, Chris is the only one to pass so far, and you gotta see. <laughs> okay, you failed miserably. Wow, my favorite student. 
James, 100% A+. Plus. What the? <laughs> Guys, I was, I was going to curve the grades, but James just aced it, so that's ruined. So if you fail, you fail. Hundred percent. Maybe if you guys would be quiet and pay attention, like James. Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first two men in the entire world to do what? Mopey, you put the moon. They did the moon. In a way. They might have fucked it, bro. Like, I don't know what no one two, knows. two men did the moon. Yeah. At the same time. Yes. Yeah. There are some big fields. There are some big Wait, think about it. There, there's dents in the moon, bro. How did they get there? Those are big dents. Oh. They were big. Okay. You see the Guardians of the Galaxy, the second one? Yes. Beauty is the planet. How, hey, yeah, where's my name from? He called me. Cassius. So, what if we really live in a simulation and the moon didn't exist until a human went there and it existed then? So, technically, what would be right? The moon landing is fake. <laughs> you don't know shit. There's a lot of conspiracies going on in Hong Kong. All right, boys, we're just gonna continue. I, I will. I won't mark it wrong, Mopi. The moon is close enough. I'll just. I'll give it to you. Okay, JFK. Good. Cassius. No. Tyler. Yes. There are three branches of the United States government: legislative, judicial, and. And you put judicial. <laughs> <laughs> Executive. Ah. Oh. Bill of Rights, the Ten Command. Okay. Yes, cash is. May I use the restroom? Yes. Going to smoke weed. <laughs> and we have another F. Okay. okay, Jesse, this should be a treat. I if I don't get an A, my dad beats me. Italy, Japan, and Germany's alliance was called what during World War II? You put the Great Wall. <laughs> the Great Wall is in China. What are you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing. Stay in your seat, Tyler. Please. The laws. Mr. Zach. Yes. Yeah, there's an inconspicuous note on the cashier's dude, desk. Cash went, like, dude. And he's been doodling on his table doing some weird stuff. He's been doodling like crazy. And it's kind of sus doodles. Hi, Ace. We just got to show. No. He can't touch. He can't teach. But he got the pins. This was all cash, huh? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. He was doodling. Look at all the doodles. I think he went to the bathroom to tug one out because he had so much tension and like, he had to release like... Cassius! Yes, sir. Nice of you to join us again. Can you take your seat, please? Oh, uh, yes, sir. First of all, Don't why are you me. breaking your pencils in half? What you mean? Like, I didn't do this. No. You didn't do it. Don't. No, I didn't do this. Can you sit down, please? You can do that. My chair upside down. What the fuck? Don't flip you, your chair when you leave the class, either. I think when you left, it just... Cassius, please sit down. We need to discuss something. I found some notes on your desk. Bro, y'all sit bro. down. Sit down. Y'all sit me up, bro. Sit down. Y'all sit me up, bro. Now there's some doodles here. It's a picture of a large round man. It says Roman noodles hair. I'm assuming you're talking about me. Then you asked, are you down to VITB? You think I don't know what that means? Vape in the bathroom? Somebody said, yeah, I got new juice. What flavor? Blue Fago. <laughs> then I found another note that says, he can't teach, but he got that peach. <laughs> Mitchell, Mitchell shoes, LOL. Stop making fun of Mitchell's holy shoes. <laughs> then, you wrote, then you wrote, who was Zach's first kiss? No one, he's gay. <laughs> What's up with the blue shirt? Why he mad? Blue shirt beat up the small kid. <laughs> this guy sucks. Teacher knows history a little too well. Woo! <laughs> 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 
Settle down, settle down. After, yes, Jesse. That's what he was doing in the bathroom then. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. B I T B. Were you vaping? E. I can show you my piss. No, thank you. All right, boys. After history, Jesse with a D, but you passed. We have Tyler with a 30% F. We have Jidel, 100% A plus. Not bad, not bad. Christopher London, 70% C. He passes. Hey, you see me. <laughs> Moochie, 50%, that's enough, sorry. Close, but no vape, I guess. And then we have Cash, the lowest grade in the class. You got a 20% F. Nah. Yeah. Yes. I had more than that, bro. Cash, there's your book. Uchi, Christopher, yours, Jindel. I'm s dude, look at this. <laughs> it's so hot, bro. Oh my god. This is what you guys, do you see this? This is what you guys do to me. Next subject, English. Turn the page, write your name in the top right corner. English questions. Question number one, we're going through these a little bit faster. How many letters are in the English alphabet? No, Jesse, not out loud. Question number two. Wait, wait, wait. Question number two. Do you categorize a book in the fiction or nonfiction genre if it's based on true events? Based on true events, is it fiction or nonfiction? That's a 50-50 chance, guys, just write an answer. Question number three. What do you call a group of crows? Oh, I know this one. It's on Dare to Play. What do you call a group of crows? Negroes. Ooh, that is incorrect, Cash, and please be quiet, not out loud. Thank you. Hey, Cash, Negroes. Begin. <laughs> Question number four. Who was the most famous English playwright in history? English playwright in history. Who was the most famous? Question number five. What do you call the figure of speech that uses like or as to what draw the fuck? Fire! What is this? I, I swear to God that wasn't me. Why is this on fire? <laughs> Dude, I've been set up. It was Are you? underneath your desk, bro. What the heck? Boys, what are we doing? Dude, this, this is... No, this is I don't even have a fucking lighter, bro. What is this? Christopher. I'll be speaking to your parents tonight. Bro, so expect I, can't, I, can't. I will take this lighter. Please, everybody sit back down. James, are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Tyler, under your desk eating talkies? <laughs> so you did have something in your mouth. No, 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 no. Can you please put the snack away? I'll, I'll put them away. Oh my God. <laughs> really, James? What do I do? You took a picture of the, the answers? <coughs> So all the questions. No. Oh, never do it again. It's not smoking here. Yeah, I wonder why, Cash. Number six. The plural of moose is what? Moose. Oh, not out loud. Question number seven. Is red an adjective or a noun? The word red. Yes. Question number eight. The main series of events in a story is called a what? Cassius, not out loud. How many times do I have to say it? Question number nine. What are the five interrogative or question words? Hint, they all start with W. Five words that all start with W that are in the same category. Cash, write them down. Oh. Oh. The, the, what, wait, Cash, please be quiet, not out loud. Come on, guys. Focus, please. James, what are you doing? What is that? This is my answer sheet. Why are you writing this down twice? To memorize it. Dude, Why do you have the answer to the 10th question on here? <laughs> He's fucking cheating. You're cheating. That's how we got 100%, bro. Yeah. That's how we got 100%. Yo. No Last question. What is the term for a word that has the exact opposite meaning of another word? Are you guys still eating Takis?
James. Yeah. Just sit still. Okay. First question. It's oh. Christopher? Huh? Is that you? No, nah, what? Make sure your name is on the front of your book and hand them in, please. What was the first question? Hand the pad. Please close your notebook when you hand it in. Oh my goodness, you're so loud. Jidel. Cheating is not tolerated in this classroom. That is a 0% and you have failed English. Don't let it happen again. Okay, who do we have here? Cash. How many letters are in the English alphabet? 27. Ye. No. Ye is not a letter in the English alphabet. There's only 26. Yeah. Non-fiction, that's correct. Three, three, four, five. Three, four, and five, you didn't even answer. Question number six. What do you call the figure of speech that uses like or as to draw comparisons? You said something. <laughs> Was that wrong? You weren't wrong, but that's not what we were looking for. So that's not the answer. Uh, the plural of moose is adjective. <laughs> Question number eight. The main series of events in a story is called the plot. You got that one right? Nine, who, what, when, where. Cash. The five interrogative questions. Hint, they all start with W. You said who, what, when, where, how. Does how start with a W? Yeah, but you do I, it. I thought it was how. How does yeah, not start with a W? Saw, how. No, there's a W in it, so it... Yeah. So there's no W in... Oh, okay. It's, 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 they all start with W, that's incorrect. So it's like... Question number 10, what is the term for a word that has the exact opposite meaning of another word? You said, I don't know. That's correct, but not correct. Cash, you got two right. And that is an F. Okay. Christopher. Oh yeah. Six. Fiction. Murder. Shakespeare. Simile. Moose. Seven. Red is an adjective or a noun. You put noun. It's incorrect. It's both. That wasn't an answer. That was a trick question. That wasn't an answer. It's okay. Uh, main series of You're events in a story is real. called what? Plot. Who? What? When? Where? How? Incorrect. And what's the term opposite meaning of another word? You put acronym. No. Fuck. Language? Oh. Okay. What what's the, can I get the answer to that so I know? Antonym. Oh teacher. Bro, I put I forgot to write my name. I got the No. Yo, deduction, bro. He didn't put his fucking name, that's the point. Christopher, you gotta see. Yeah, My dad's gonna be. Mitchell, what is this? What? That was an F. You tried to make it an A plus. <laughs> no. Twenty six nonfiction sounds. Cash. Are you on your phone? No, sir. Put it away. The plural of moose is multiple moose. <laughs> no. Oh, is it caboose? No, it is moose. Antonym. Okay, not bad, Mitchell. Got a C. <sighs> this should be good. 27, no. Cassius, are you, <laughs> are you watching porn? No, sir. In my classroom. No, sir. Turn your phone off. Is that? <laughs> he's literally, he's so, he's the Pornhub right. intro, really? Dude, how do you know that? I, Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> We're all men here. Send me that link. I'm oh. 12. About to have even more gray hair. I'm sweating. This is one of the worst teaching jobs I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Autobiography, no. Call of Group of Crows, a flock, no. Edgar Allan Poe was a poet. Poe, po, poet. Penis. He was not a playwright. Metaphor, Penis. no. Penis. What do you call the plural of moose? You said meese. <laughs> That's incorrect. Seven, is red an adjective or a noun? You put LED. Cash. Cassius. Penis. 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 
Are we playing the penis game, really? That's what we're doing? Can we quiet down, please? Penis! All right, Chris won. Moby, you got one right. Thank you. Which one? That's not a thank you, that's a 10%. Oh, it's an F. You give me my score back. Which one did you get right? Plot. Jesse, 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 Jesse. How many letters in the English alphabet? You put 23. It's incorrect. Dude, you're dumb as shit. Hey, come on guys. The most famous English playwriter in history is not Thomas the Tank Engine. Please stop writing that on all your tests. Oh. Tyler! <laughs> what are you doing? What is he doing? What the hell is he doing? Oh. I'm gonna go. What the hell? You teacher, he pushed me out of my chair and put a spill of coke on me. Mr. Zach, he did shove him out of the seat. Look, Why this, look, at, his, it, look at his biceps. He tried to set the school on fire. Boys, can we just relax? Cassius, please take your seat. Oh, yeah, coke Avoid it. it. Just sit down. God damn. Whose coke is this? Bro, why are you so sorry? Whose is this? Dude. What are you guys bro, doing? Bro, y'all messing with me, bro. Holy shit. What did I do? What's you look good. Jesse, who? Where, why, when, wop? <laughs> Yo, what ass pussy? Christopher? Come on. Twenty percent. <laughs> okay, boys. Jesse. Twenty percent. That's an F. Tyler. Ten percent. Also an F. Mitchell, 70% C. Not nice. bad. Not bad. Nice. Christopher, 70% C. Yes, sir. Cassius, 20% F. James, you cheated. Zero. Don't cheat. Okay? We're done. Boys. Not yours. Hey, what are we doing? What? I, I, made what is this? I made a paper. Out of a hundred dollar bill. Yeah, I was gonna give it Why did you give it to him and say for the next quiz? I said no. Why the next quiz? Test. You're trying to pay him to cheat? I can't take the I'm hyperventilating. You hyperventilate? Teacher, where's the fucking AC, bro? Listen. Like, look at your shirt. It looks like a tie-dye shirt. Hey, guys. School funding has been cut, okay? We can't afford AC. Oh. Just fan yourself. Can I get a pencil? You need another pencil? Can I also get another one? Yeah, can I get one too? Too? Guys, I'm not a pencil tree, okay? This isn't unlimited, well, no. it's not our fault you don't have a pencil sharpener, so, sorry. Thank you, though. Appreciate it. All right, boys. Next subject is gonna be science and math. Get your notebooks back out. Cash. You with us? First question, what causes tides in the ocean? What causes tides in the ocean? Number two, a caterpillar becomes this when it grows up. Question number three, the earth is located in this galaxy. What is the name of it? Wait, what the fuck? What's number two? I already said number two. Tyler. Huh? Why are you guys sitting so close? He's my best friend. We sit, hey. we sit close, that's fine, right? Hey. <sighs> Question number four. Does the sun orbit, orbit the earth? What's the deep <laughs> Yeah. Orbit? Is that right? Yeah, as I say it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want to sit out in the hall, Tyler? <laughs> no, I feel yes. You've got this 20%. I'm doing point. better on this one. Hey, Christopher, come on. I'm That's just, not I helping. Just to be That's not helping. What? I, I mean, you're not helping. This <laughs> fucking star was broken pencils every two minutes. Language. Christopher, language. I don't know. I just want everyone to be great and he's fucking settling. Hey, down. language, man. Sorry, bro. It's just Holy fuck. Dude. You. What? Huh? Question number five. Animals that only eat meat are known as what? Onto the math. Lauren gets paid $4 an hour to babysit her little brother. If she babysits from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m., how much money will she make? She gets paid $4 an hour to babysit. 
She babysits from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. How much money will she make? Question number two. The first day of the 20th century was what? What day? I need month, day, and year. 20th century. If anybody puts when I was born, you're failing the semester. Yeah, erase it. Question number three. What number is the Roman numeral XVI? XVI. What number is that in Roman numerals? Are you two cheating? How am I cheating? What are you doing? Writing down answers. Straighten up, Jesse. Not literally, weirdo. <laughs> Question number nine. A, a hexagon has how many. Oh, shit. What are you two doing? Separate. Scoot over. What is this? What is this? What's your fortune? No, you have to pick a number. Zach Bummy Boy. Dummy. You can't even read it. <laughs> number nine, a hexagon has how many sides? Last one, question number 10. Hexagon has how many sides? Question number 10. Solve the following equation. Three plus two divided by one. Divided by one. Mitchell, can you open up your ears and listen? Divided by one. Yeah, three plus two divided what by one. What the fuck are those? <laughs> bro, what the hell is that, man? What are those, bro? Hey, I got bullied earlier. I had to make a quick wardrobe change during passing period. What are those? They're my skin. <laughs> Boy. Y'all just jealous because you've been wearing the same shoes all the time. That is true. He does have two pairs of shoes. Close the notebooks, hand them in. Cassius, sleeping is for nighttime, not during class. Hey, that's cool. This is the day that's probably going to go to high school, bro. Really, Tyler? I, was I saw you. you. <laughs> Don't lie. Bad eyes. Bad eyes? I think you have that. You think so? Yes. Okay. You know what you have? Bad grades, dumbass. I did it on this one. All right, Mitchell, the moon, butterfly, Milky Way. Oh, Mitchell, you put this, sus. This motherfucker <laughs> farted. Who farted? This one. Cash. He's shaking. Really? Bro, he's shitting himself. Let's <laughs> move up, Why are you sleeping in class again? How did I fart in the sleep, bro? Bro, all that protein, bro. Yo, that's a good question. Maybe he's being crazy. Bro, what the fuck? Who's farting, bro? Bro. Oh, God. Ew. What is wrong with you guys? Mitchell, animals that only eat meat are known as what? You put sus. <laughs> Christopher is not that funny. Relax. <laughs> January 19th, 1989, Capricorn sign. Why did you put my birthday? <laughs> and your sign. First day of the 20th century. I was not born on the first day of the 20th century, guys. Roman numeral 10-6. Why did you put 10-6? I asked for a number. Can you guys not? What do we do? Just yeah. sit still, pay attention. It's not 10, six, it was 16. Uh, Hexagon, that's how many sides, six. No. Solve the following equation. Three plus two divided by one. Mitchell, you put Skechers. <laughs> that is wrong. 60%, that's a D. Christopher, what causes tides in the ocean? You put when Mr. Zach throws it back. Hey, the, ocean, the waves go crazy. That's incorrect. It's January 1st, 1990. That is incorrect. First day of the 20th century was January 1st, 1901. I put, I put that. You I didn't. Put, I put zero, zero. It's 01. Oh. And five. Okay. Not bad, Christopher. Not bad. Ace? No. Five. Did I pass? You did. Cash, this ought to be good. Moon, butterfly, three, no answer. Cash, does the sun orbit the earth? You put yes. Yeah. The earth orbits the sun. The sun doesn't go around the earth. How do we know that? Still wrong. Roman numeral, okay, no. Five, no. 
All right, okay. Minus five percent F. Wow. Jai Doe. What is this? What? What is that? Why? No, that's a fake. That's a fake one. That's a pretty good one. You're Tyler Greek crap. Yeah, this is good. I know you didn't draw this. Butterfly, Milky Way, no carnivore, $20. January 1st, 1900, close, no cigar. Very good, very good, minus one, James. 90% is an A. Wait, I should have the same grade as you. Nope, you missed two. Me throwing it back does not cause tides in the ocean. <laughs> Tyler, what causes tides in the ocean? You put Zach's small breasts. Incorrect. Caterpillar becomes what when it grows up? Zach's small breasts. Correct. <laughs> the Earth is located in this galaxy, small breasts. Correct. <laughs> Does the sun orbit the Earth? Breasts small. Correct. Animals that only eat meat are known as what? Small breastivores. Incorrect. $20, 2012, no. 16, okay. Number four, hexagon has how many sides? Small breasts. And solve the following. Three plus two divided by one equals small breasts, four. Didn't even get the number right. <laughs> Minus eight. Okay, Jesse. Should be pretty good. The moon, butterfly, Milky Way, no carnivores. 20. First day of the 20th century was not the 18th century, Jesse. Makes absolutely no sense. 16, six, five. Minus one. Okay, not bad, Jesse. Finally got an A. You cheated off, James. After science and math, we had Jesse. 90% A. Good job. Tyler, 20% F. No, that's not, no. James, 90% A. Science, Christopher, B. Yes, sir. Not bad, not bad. Mitchell, 60% D. You passed. Not bad, boys. Not bad at all. Yo, nice D, Mitchell. Pause. Jidel. OP, Jesse, OG, and what is this? <laughs> is this supposed to be me? Uh, no. Why does it have big butt cheeks? I was just, I, it's a caricature. Caricature. Cash, come on. My head talk. Who threw my fucking notebook? No one's by you. Bro, your arms are that long. No, 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 I can't reach, bro. I literally Did you throw his notebook? No, but look, I can't reach. Bro, he did. Dude, look how far he's No, but look, at. I can't grab his his thing. I, <laughs> I mean. So you can reach. No, but. Exactly. I can, when there's did you? Did you throw his notebook? You set me up. How can I set me do this? How did you know? Bro? You see me sleeping. Leave Cash's stuff alone, please. And give me back the hundred. Dude, I need this for lunch. Yeah. Where are you going to eat? <laughs> Want a Benny Honest for lunch? <laughs> All right, boys. Pay attention. Open the books back up. We're gonna do some reading and spelling. Okay, we're gonna start out with spelling. Five words. Spelling or drawing? Spelling. Oh, we're For not all drawing. the words. So we're not drawing. No, we're not drawing That's doodles. Funny. Nah, here. Give it here. Uh, Give it here. This is my private What is it? <laughs> this is my private What is this? I didn't draw that. Mopi, you're a re kid. Mr. Zach, Yeezys. Easy Mac. Easy Mac on my head? I didn't draw that. It, how you didn't draw this. You just said this was your collection. What is this? <laughs> Why do you guys keep drawing my ass so big? <laughs> I mean, have you seen it? Whenever you like come up here and walk back, you're like, damn. What? Yo, dude! <laughs> Wait a minute! No. Just come on guys, stop with the drawing, please. Okay, first word. Accommodate. It is hard to accommodate, you idiots. It's hard. Whoa. Number two. 
Chameleon. Millionaire. No, chameleon. Number three, miscellaneous. Excuse me? Sorry. Um, this is a little tired. <laughs> I was thinking out loud there because it's hard for me. Miscellaneous. <laughs> Number four, sophomore. Flashlight? Jesse? Really? What are you saying? Leave Cass alone. He's being I'm good. Open, He's I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not a student, student. I'm just a student. Man. Number five. Subtlety. What? Subtlety. Quiet. Why would you look at me and do that, Tyler? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Give me bad vibes, man. Right. Hey. Still right now, man. Hey. Don't look through it. Hey. Prove it, bitch. <laughs> Give me my shit! God damn! Violations! Subtlety was the last word. And in your notebooks. And the men. You literally stole his money. I didn't I steal anything. <laughs> <laughs> let me see your pockets. Like you see my pockets. Yeah, let me see your pockets, bro. You want you want to get in the teacher's pockets. You're stealing! What is wrong with you guys? Uh, who is this? Cash. Accommodate. Wrong. Sorry. Camillone. Wrong. Selenius. Wrong. Sophomore. That's wrong. Sadalti. That's wrong. It's a zero. Couldn't get one spelled right? And this is Chris. Yes. Accommodate. Wrong. How is that wrong with an O? Chameleon, wrong. Dude. Miscellaneous, wrong. James. Sophomore, correct. Subtlety, correct. I passed. No, fail. Miserable. Mitchell, accommodate. You wrote cum dating. What? It's wrong. Chameleon, wrong. Miscellaneous, wrong. I wrote sophomore. You put soft core. Wrong. I couldn't hear. Subtlety, you put sub alt. You. Jidel, accommodate, wrong. Chameleon, wrong. Miscellaneous, wrong. Miscellaneous, mm. sophomore, correct. Subtlety, correct. Minus three. No, not go. It's a 40%. But with the curve? Curve. Yo, T, curve this curve. We're not curving it. Curve. No curve. curve like no curve. Act. Jesse, accommodate wrong. Chameleon wrong. Miscellaneous horribly wrong. Sophomore wrong. Subtlety wrong. Oh, I swear one of those is right. They were like all incorrect. Oh. Wrong. Yeah, wrong. Wrong. Sud Letty, Tyler, Sud Letty. I tried. All right, all of you guys failed so the writing. We're not curving it, all right? High-tech classroom, everybody take out your phone. We're gonna do some popcorn reading to finish out class today. Cassius? Take out your phone, please. I sent you guys a picture. We're gonna read from this passage, okay? Go to the first picture. I'll start us out. Strange Bedfellows lamented the title of a recent letter to Museum News, in which a certain Harriet Sherman exoriated the National Gallery of Art in Washington for its handlings of tickets to much ballyhooed Van Gogh's Van Gogh's exhibit. A huge portion of the $200,000 free tickets were snatched up by the homeless opportunists in the dead of winter, who then scalped those tickets at $85 a piece to less hardy connoisseurs. 
Mopey, continue. Yet Sherman's bedfellows are far from strange. Art, despite its religious and magical origins, very soon becomes a very commercial venture. From Garrigo's, Garrigo's patrons funding art and they barely understood in, uh, in order to share their Portuguese prestige and to museum. Uh, Protégé's prestige. Shed in market where cultural icons could be traded like commodities. Wow, that was horrible. <laughs> Jesse, continue. This trend toward commodification of highbrow art took an ominous, unpredictable turn in the 19th century. Ow! Jesus. Guys, let him read. Come Son on. Of a price. <laughs> what are we doing? My bag. My bag. My bag. Why are you throwing My your bag, bag bro? Guys, reading. <laughs> reading. Jesus. 1980s during the Japanese bubble economy, a time when Japanese share prices more than doubled in the in the ow! Guys. Doubled individual tycoons and industrial giants alike invested record amounts in some of the West's greatest masterpieces, Ryo Sato, for, uh, Dan, this is a long paragraph. You don't have to read it all, keep going. This trend towards commodification of highbrow. You already read that. You read that, are you dumb fuck? Purchased Van Gogh's portrait of Dr. Gachet for a record-breaking 82.5 million, James, continue. The work, now alone to the Metropolitan Museum of Modern Art, suddenly vanished from the public domain. Later learning that he owed the Japanese government, I'm so scared, 24 million taxes. Say it over Martin. He remarked, what's going on? Dude, Dude I'm saying are you scared? No. Read, James, come on. This statement, which he later dismissed as a joke, alarmed and enraged many. A representative of the Van Gogh Museum conceded that he had no legal redress. Made an ethical appeal to Mr. Say. What the fuck? Mr. Say, uh, are you on a stage? The work of art remains the possession of the world at large. Okay, Mitchell, continue. Ethical appeal. Wait a minute. Did you change your shoes again? Yeah. What are you wearing? Ethical appeals. Okay, eth ethical appeals, notwithstanding, great art will increasingly devolve into big. Oh, just stop. Give Chris his phone back. Holy shit. Gee, God, that was slow. Firstly, great art can only be certified by its market value. Mitchell, sit down. Moreover, the world at large has the means of acquisition. Only museums currently has the funding to contend for the best pieces. The J. Paul Getty Museum, founded by the billionaire oil man. All right, Cash, continue. The art. The art may disappear into a private hand, but it transfer of a disagreeable one standard. Very good, Cash. We can leave that there. I'm a reader. Yeah, you a reader, reader. Chris, what is that? Uh, 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 Steve Book, New York Times bestseller. Is it signed? Yeah, actually. Okay. Carry on. Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Um, read the first passage. Um, writing this book was a was more than a little bit scary for me, and I couldn't have done it without the size of Mr. Zach's cheeks that rippled the earth's waves and caused massive waves for surfers to surf and hang tin. First and foremost, I'd like to thank David the Senior, whose calm and soothing approach to watching Mr. Zach shake his trunk slash massive wagon. Close the book, Chris. I'm very disappointed in you guys as a whole class. I passed. All right, I'm gonna figure out your guys' collective GPAs. We're gonna see who the smartest in the class is. All right, boys, I have your final grades for the semester. Tyler, your GPA, zero. Just completely horrible. You failed every single subject. That doesn't even make sense to me. And nothing makes sense to you because your brain can't comprehend anything, which is reflected by your grade. Mitchell. Yes. Point six. No, not even close. That's horrible. See you next year. Thanks. Yes, I will see you next year. You'll be sitting right beside Mopey. That's not. Don't dap for that. That's not good. Cassius. 
You with us? Yeah. Your GPA this year was a point eight. Fast. No. Can he play still? No. You are ineligible for sports this year. Be seeing you this summer. Jesse, your GPA. 1.6. He passed? He did pass, barely. But you did pass. That is horrible. That's not, no, stop dapping. That's for a 1.6. You're not getting into any secondary school whatsoever. College, community college, anything. Probably not even like a work program. They're not gonna let you in, okay? I need more out of you next year. Christopher. 2.2. Yes, sir. Not bad. Not bad. You know what I'm saying? You see me. That's barely over a C average. So yes, I see you. Hey. Absolutely. And then we have James. Hey. James, I just want to congratulate you on your 2.4 GPA. You deserve that trophy. Uh, it's a soccer trophy, but you deserve much more than that. It is broken, just like your grades. 2.4 is still horrible, okay? None of you should be proud. All of you need to study more and pay more attention. Stop goofing off in class. Teacher, it's yeah. hard to study for a pop quiz. Just Cash. Cash, you, yeah, you can't play this year. Ineligible means you are not allowed to play sports. Thank you guys for watching Too Hype Goes Back to School. Make sure you guys let me know what your GPA was down in the comments, your IRL GPA. We wanna see who is studious with our fans. If you guys like the black and white tees that you saw the guys wearing with the scoop bottoms, make sure you guys go to twohype.com. You guys can cop those right now. The last two videos are popping up on the screen. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to our individual channels. Thank you for watching. Peace.